sampling rate versus sampling resolution. So when computers record sound files, there's a number of factors that influence the quality of the recording, uh, but sampling rate and sampling resolution are two of the most important factors. So let's start with sampling rate. The sampling rate is the number of times per second that the amplitude of the wave is recorded. So for instance here, where we've got a sampling rate of 1 kilohertz or 1000 samples per second, then each millisecond it will update the value that it's recording, or the amplitude of the wave. So millisecond 1, it record it there, and then after another millisecond it record it there, and after another millisecond it record it, and each millisecond it is updating the value that it's reading uh, from the sound wave input. Uh, but that's quite a low quality, and, and the problem is that these lower rates here, like a 1000 kilohertz, uh, is not as accurate and doesn't represent the original sound wave very well. So you need to increase it. So like here where we've increased it to 2 kilohertz, 2000 samples per second, you could see now that because we're recording the sound, uh, the sound wave here twice as many times per second, then the wave itself is far more accurately represented here. It just records it all the way through. So um, now I've said here that we're going to record it at 2 kilohertz, but actually for a professional quality recording, you're going to record it much, much higher. You're looking at 44,000 uh, hertz. So that's 44,000 times per second it records the amplitude of the wave. So let's just show you that. So here if I click record, and Audacity here is recording my sound wave. And if I just select a bit of that wave there and zoom in on that, and let's just zoom right in, you can see as I go in, there's the wave. But if I go right into the wave, we're all the way in. There we go. You can just about see them here. These points here are the sample point. And they're uh, 44,000 times per second it's recording them, so that distance to that, from there to there, is 1 thousandth of a second. Um, and it just records the amplitude, the, the vertical height at that point. Okay, so that is the sampling rate. So just to review, it's the number of times per second the wave amplitude is recorded, and the higher the sampling rate, the higher the quality of the file, but it does also mean that it's a greater file size. If you're recording that rate twice as many times per second, then the file size is potentially going to double. And a CD uh, recording is, it's actually 44,100, but I just forgot to update that. Okay, so let's move on to the other factor, which is the sampling resolution. So the sampling resolution is the accuracy that this wave height here is recorded. So here, for instance, if I were to record 3-bit resolution, um, which would give you uh, 3 bits, would give you any value in binary from 0 to 7, which allows you 8 gradations, uh, or 8 kind of sp to split it into eight, uh, from like a hundred percent here to minus a hundred percent, you've only got seven possible gradations. So you'd go into um, here, for instance, to make it work. You'd have to do it in quarters in the positive, um, and then quarters in the negative. So, and you can see it here where the original wave goes smoothly up like here, but because you can only record up to eight possibilities of the wave height, it goes straight up from zero to fifty. And then to 100, 50, 50, minus 25, uh, minus 75, etc. So that's really no good. Three bits certainly isn't any good. Um, fast forward to the uh, kind of 1980s, uh, the first consoles when they came out, uh, and the first computers, they actually uh, recorded and played sound, a lot of them in 8 bit sound. Um, and if you Google 8-bit sound recorders, you'll hear what that sounds like. It still sounds incredibly computery, but it, it's starting moving the right way. So 8-bit allows us 256 different gradations. So uh, this negative scale here, 227 possibilities. 
the positive scale here could be up to 127 possibilities in the positive. Um, so each uh, each fraction of this 100% uh, would be actually less than a percent. And you can see here that the wave is uh, recorded far more accurately. Uh, you go for an 8-bit resolution. Now, 8-bit itself isn't much use. Uh, actually, in um, uh, when we're recording CD quality resolution, it's recorded at 16-bit resolution. That's standard, um, which 16-bit gives you 65,000 possibilities, so 32,000 gradations above zero, 32,000 below, and it's that accuracy at which it's recorded that gives you the closer to the original analog wave. Uh, and just to review, um, sampling resolution, number of bits per sample used, which because it's a number of bits per sample, we all, that's why we call it um, bit depth. That's another, another name for sampling resolution. Okay, and it's a number of bits to record it. And again, just like with the sampling, um, uh, the um, sampling rate, the the larger the sampling resolution, the more accurately the wave is recorded. But potentially, it's also going to mean that you're going to use up more bits, and therefore a larger file size. There you go. That's sampling resolution and sampling rate. Thank you very much.